Hello, everyone. These are the chapter 11 questions for the boy in the striped pajamas. Number one, how does Bruno's mother react when his father says that the Fury is coming to dinner? Uh, remember, the Fury is uh, the Fuhrer, Adolf Hitler. Uh, and his mother, understandably, is very surprised. On page 117, mother's eyes opened wide and her mouth made the shape of an O. Bruno stared at her and wondered whether this was what he looked like when he was surprised about something surprised. Um, you can imagine, right? Uh, this is like the leader of the country. Imagine if the president or a, a leader of the country uh, was coming to your house just to have dinner. It'd be very surprising. How do the children dress for this important dinner? Uh, on page 118, Gretel was wearing a white dress and knee socks, and her hair had been twisted into corkscrew curls. Bruno was wearing a pair of dark brown shorts, a plain white shirt, and a dark brown tie. He had a new pair of shoes for the occasion. So this is a, uh, this is a very important uh, dinner, very important event, so they are dressed very nicely. Question three, what rules apply during the Fury's visit? Now we know that Bruno's father is a very strict man and Hitler also very serious, right? Very stern. So they have a lot of rules they have to follow. On page 119, when the Fury arrives, you will stand in the hall quietly and prepare to greet him. You do not speak until he speaks to you. And then you reply in a clear tone, right? Very serious. Uh, the children are not invited to dinner. They've already eaten. So once uh, they come, he comes in and they, they greet him, then uh, they are supposed to go upstairs and remain quietly in their room. I forgot something. Also uh, on 120, uh, if he doesn't speak to them, then they're supposed to just look straight ahead and look, uh, look very, uh, very respectful, be very, uh, be very proper, I guess. Question four, describe the fury. Now there's a long tradition of this uh, in literature, in film, of sort of poking fun or like making jokes about Hitler uh, and what he was like as a person. Because he was such a bad person and so sort of intense, um, it's common to uh, sort of poke fun at him a little bit for the way that he that he looked. Charlie Chaplin very famously um, represented Hitler in kind of a, a funny comedic way. Uh, and this novel is no different. On page 121, the Fury was far shorter than father, right? He's a, he's a, despite the fact that he's so powerful, he's, a, he's actually physically short. Uh, he had dark hair, which was cut quite short and a tiny mustache. You know what that, uh, you know what that looks like. And Bruno imagines that uh, he may have just uh, forgotten to uh, to get that spot when he was uh, when he was shaving in the morning. So again, that kind of funny representation of, uh, of Hitler. Question five, five. What does Bruno think of the Fury's manners? Very bad, right? Shocked when uh, the Fury just walks into the dining room and just sits right down at the head of the table, which is the place where his father would have been sitting. It's like a very rude thing to do, right? He barks orders at Ava, right? He's like yelling at her to like come in. Uh, he makes a joke about uh, speaking French, about French people. Just, uh, just not a very, uh, very nice man. Question six, describe Ava. This is Ava Braun. She's actually a historical uh, figure. She was, uh, she was a real person and she was Hitler's wife. If you're interested, I encourage you to, uh, to research and learn a little bit more about her because she's actually a very interesting, uh, very interesting person. In the novel, she's represented as being very nice, right? Uh, where the fury is very rude, she uh, takes the time to talk to the children, right? She, she tells, uh, she tells Gre Gretel, sorry, she tells Gretel that uh, her hair is very beautiful. She compliments Bruno on his shoes. She says that they're very charming. And, uh, and Bruno says on page 121, she was the most beautiful woman he had ever seen in his life. She had blonde hair and very red lips.